In the midst of a global pandemic like COVID-19, SARS, or MERS, we've been told from countless experts that the key to prevention is literally in our hands. The most common advice given by health officials is to wash our hands frequently to prevent illness. Despite soap being a $2 billion industry, its sales haven't spiked nearly as much as that of hand sanitizer. Since COVID-19 hit the US, people have been stockpiling hand sanitizer, causing sales to increase 470% in the first week of March 2020, compared with the same time the previous year. Hand sanitizer is now a $200 million industry, and with the public's growing awareness about the importance of hygiene to combat viral outbreaks like COVID-19, there's no foreseeable limit to that demand. The origins of hand sanitizer traced back to a 1966 medical facility in Bakersfield, California. When healthcare worker Lupe Hernandez combined isopropyl alcohol with a gel to substitute soap and water when it wasn't readily available. Healthcare experts say hand sanitizers are most helpful in countries that don't have clean water. But Americans have widely adopted them as an on-the-go disinfectant for just about everything. For example, you're out and about in New York City, you're using a porta potty, or maybe you're somewhere where you just don't have a chance to wash your hands. Hand sanitizer is a good alternative for hand washing in those situations. In 2009, the outbreak of the H1N1 virus caused a 70% spike in hand sanitizer sales that year. Since then, hand sanitizer sales have continued to grow. And you'd think that sales would increase most during winter flu seasons. But it's actually during the summer when people are traveling. Now, that's changing with the spread of COVID-19. That's really what we see and hypothesize is driving a lot of the trend um, towards hand sanitizers. Today, hand sanitizers come in a wide range of prices, from $12 organic natural versions to $1 generic bottles. But higher priced varieties with their boutique essences and elegant labels are no more effective at killing harmful bacteria than their $1 counterparts. There's no difference between expensive versus cheap hand sanitizers. Check the label and as long as the alcohol content is above 60%, you're good to go. The alcohol content of hand sanitizer is key to an effective disinfectant and should be between 60 to 90% in volume. Healthcare workers warn that all natural hand sanitizers with base ingredients like thyme and oregano oils contain certain antimicrobial properties, but are simply not scientifically proven to be as effective as alcohol-based sanitizers. But consumers should exercise caution when using alcohol-based hand sanitizers. Despite its glowing 99.9% .9 kill-off rate, healthcare workers say there is nothing as effective and no substitute for a proper hand washing. The physical act of hand washing and running water really does remove a very, very large percentage of, of bacteria, dirt, and grime, something that hand sanitizer does not do. Despite this, sales have continued to surge, and at least some of the rise in sales can be attributed to Gojo. The FDA is out with a new warning. The regulator wants the maker of Purell hand sanitizer to stop claiming that its products can prevent people from catching the flu, the Ebola virus, the MRSA superbug, and the norovirus. The FDA says that the company's claims are unsubstantiated, and it will reclassify Purell as an unapproved drug rather than an over-the-counter product. Gojo responded, saying they were updating relevant website and other digital content as directed by the FDA and are taking steps to prevent a recurrence. There is a supply shortage of hand sanitizer due to unprecedented levels of demand. Many grocery and drug stores are completely sold out. The guy said that there's no chance they're getting hand sanitizer. And even as some companies are ramping up to sell nearly a year's worth of inventory over the span of a few weeks, it may not be enough. Our February demand went up by about 400%. And then, you know, just in the first week of March, it's uh, there isn't really even a percent to put to it. We're potentially looking at uh, selling uh, the next you know, eight months worth of uh, inventory in an under normal forecast in the next couple of weeks. US consumers have moved beyond simply proactive and reactive purchasing in health and wellness area and are really now what we classify as the pantry loading 
um, threshold um, of the pandemic. So that's very much what we're seeing happening in the marketplace, both online and in store. The supply shortage has more consumers taking matters into their own hands, literally, by making their own disinfectants at home. But hand sanitizer sales are expected to continue hitting record highs, prompting doctors to issue stronger messaging urging proper hand washing. That entails scrubbing all surfaces of your hands with soap, then running your hands underwater for at least 20 seconds until all the soap is removed before drying. And in addition to hand washing, avoid touching your eyes, ears, nose, and mouth. You know, the surrounding surfaces of your face, the longer you can avoid touching your face, the better off you are, and the less you are likely to transmit germs from your hands.